Nerd Assaults! Hello, Mr. This Guy. The glasses are a bit much. Now, I don't think you're an idiot, but I do think you're fundamentally wrong about this evolution thing. Also, when recording, please turn your phone this way. There's nothing worse than sitting through an entire video looking at this crap. As an atheist, I feel it's my duty to tell you that evolution and faith are not at odds. Nor is intelligent design even a competing theory. And that point you made about evolution never being observed is just wrong. Evolution is very much going on today. Need proof? I give you the rattleless rattlesnake. In the American Southwest, rattlesnakes have a Doctor Who silent style death order on them. You should kill us all on sight. No one's suggesting the animals willed the change. It's a mutation. Some snakes are born without rattles. It happens. Now, the lack of a rattle may have been disadvantageous in the past, but now that telltale tail is a death sentence. So, no rattle? No one hears it on the path. It doesn't get shot or hunted down or used in some crazy snake church. In other words, snakes with that mutation have a higher chance of breeding, and that trait gets passed on through the generations. Over the course of just a few hundred years, human beings have actually changed the course of evolution for the American rattlesnake. Ironically, making them harder to find and therefore more dangerous. But let's back up to your original video for a moment. I think one important problem was your misuse of the word theory. I don't think that means what you think that it means. Let me remind you at this point, gravity is still a theory. You're probably confusing it with the word hypothesis. Now when you get enough hypotheses together, prove enough things, but not all of them, and you can't call it a fact yet, you get a theory. Uh, let's use a metaphor. Imagine you get home from Ikea. You bought Billy the bookcase. You get home, you're getting ready to put it together, and oh no, it appears one of the shelves are missing. Also, the directions. We can probably tell by looking at the pieces and the picture on the box what it's supposed to look like at the end, but until you get that other shelf back and maybe find the directions, you only have a theoretical bookcase. And that's how we see evolution. We know what happened. We just don't have all the pieces yet. My point is that you don't fully understand evolution, and that's okay. You're not an expert, nor is anyone asking you to be. I bet you're an expert on other things. By your username? I guess probably the Bible. And you being an expert, I'm sure you'll agree with me that the Bible was not written by God. I mean, even if you believe it's the inspired word of God, it's plain to see it was written by men. And then, just like today, people are using it as a weapon against those who disagree with their personal beliefs. But it's corrosive to society to insist that those personal beliefs are more important than what's actually going on in the world around us. Alas, some things never change. And if the flat earth society and the 6,000 year old earth people have taught us anything, some folks are stubborn. But you seem rather intelligent. So I implore you, just this once, listen to someone who has ideas that differ from yours. Don't take my word for it. Here's some credible, rational human beings who are considered experts in the field. Hear them out. Hell, I gave you that much. And as always, stay nerdy, my friends. But there's one I'm not in the love of